We were just talking at the top of the show. The 10 year is at 270. Looks like rates may be on the, on the way to back up again as the Fed tries to taper uh, in the next 30 to 45 days or so. Sure, four and a third to four and a half, probably for the foreseeable future in terms of the 30 year fixed interest rate. Um, you know, this market is very dependent on first time home buyers, which, as you pointed out, have been on the sidelines for some time. They've represented about 28% of sales in the last year. And in a healthy market, that's about 40%. So it certainly is putting a damper on home sales, which I actually think is a positive thing. And I'm a little bit concerned about first time home buyers jumping into this market. Why, why so? I think we have another bubble in the making. We're seeing a lot of numbers that are reminiscent of 2005 and 2006 and um, concerned about the long-term price stability and ability to maintain the price momentum that we've seen over the last year that's largely been driven by very low interest rates. We had a bubble last time driven by very easy credit. We have a, very, a bubble this time potentially driven by very cheap credit over a long period of time. That's Karen, let me ask you something. Obviously, with rates higher, the affordability index moves somewhat, but it's still pretty low relative to where it had been in maybe 06, 07. So how do you factor yeah. that into your thoughts? Yeah, that's really true. And, you know, but we've also got unemployment rates still at a set about 7.5%. Um, and we know that the Fed's looking for 6.5% to make some more serious moves. But, um, you know, we've got a median price that's grown 13% in the last year. Um, and that's the highest percent gain since 2005. So if, if all other factors held the same and consistent, and we expect similar type of, types of gains over the next maybe say one to three years, we could see prices back where they were again. We're already starting to see some signs of that in Miami, Boston, California, where we've got 65% of purchases being made in cash by investors. Um, and for example, in China, the, the South Beach and Miami markets are heavily overheated and in price wars, an average of 10 to 15% over, um, over asking price for purchases. Danny, thanks. Danny Babb from the Babb Group. Doc, I know you're looking at some names uh, for yeah, real estate. Yeah, because I evening. think a lot of folks miss when they're looking at the real estate and they just want to go either after Masco or they want to go after Toll Brothers and so forth. Trulia blew out top line, bottom line last night. Uh, their page views and uniques are through the roof, uh, up 49 or 50 percent year over year, 35 million people a month going on that site. That's uniques. That's huge. And that's why this thing still has momentum. You take a look at that one, up 130% year to date. You also look at Z, Zillow, and Karen and I have both looked at Realogy, but we both kind of thumped well, our I, noses. I own it, but it's oh. not had a good month. Right. No, but I still like it.